I think all of you all will be surprised, uh, but it's a very emotional moment for me. Uh, it's a very emotional decision. Uh, it, you know, it might sound with a black label bottle over here. Blue. And all of us, blue. blue label, sorry. Blue, black, Eki, uh, Eki, no, but no, 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 it's, it's the same me. family, yeah. But it's blue label, yeah. It's, it's rare, it's, rare it's, it's, rare. it's, it's, it's uh, classy, it's, it's fantastic. And uh, well, of course, I've had blue label and I love it. And uh, the reason is, my father was completely, completely obsessed and passionate about Johnny Walker. You know, there are some bottles which are still there, uh, you know, and there are uh, about three blue label bottles, you know, in my house, uh, which I preserve and keep it. And I don't open it because, uh, you know, I feel somewhere I think when I go up there, I'm going to, you know, try to take them along <laughs> and give it to my dad. <laughs> <laughs> not, not I think uh, I, I had to uh, do a lot of thinking and I was, I, I, I wanted big house, I wanted big cars and, and uh, my work and my, you know, things, the way things happened to me, they actually guided me and they gave me kind of clues, signals and I really caught on to it. Like, I'll give you an example. I was, uh, in 2000, I was doing this film called Warrior. And at the same time, I was also producing a series uh, for Star Plus. Because I got bored of acting in television. So I was trying to produce or direct, you know. At that time, this film came. And uh, I, for the first time, I went, like I did a shooting which was uh, in one chunk. So this was the first time I experienced how the story, how the character grows on you in those days if you are doing it continuously or if you are doing, if you have that kind of atmosphere. And towards the end of the shoot, my wife came uh, to meet me and she was worried that, you know, we have invested so much of money on the series, what's going to happen? And suddenly something told me from inside that, you know, don't go that way. You are not enjoying that you know, producing series is not your cup of tea. You are not enjoying that experience. And I left that, you know. I, I never, you know, turned back and looked at it. I said, you know, I'm not going that way. I have to go this way. I don't know what, what, will, ha what will happen, but I'll go this way. That's will these great. guys be acting if their income dropped 90%? The answer is yes. If, will I be still riding if my income dropped 90%? The answer is yes. So I think that's the kind of thing that's, that's we love doing what we do. So I think so actually I have a very strange relationship with auditions. I have never got any part through audition. Whenever I give audition, I fail. So I am I'm not a person, you know, who's, uh, who's uh, very competitive, who, who thrives in competition. So I, I, I bypass whenever a role comes and it demands audition, I say bye-bye because it doesn't happen with me. Uh, I feel very odd when I'm uh, doing an audition and uh, uh, I know that people are testing you or, uh, you know, trying to judge you. Uh, that, I know, I don't enjoy that situation. For me, I think it will be a very boring answer, but I have to be honest. For me, it's, uh, you know, a good shot, you know, doing a good scene. Uh, like yesterday, I was uh, shooting a scene and it was very, very intoxicating. I think. Uh, Nothing can replace that. For me, it is uh, very, very intoxicating. I was drunk. <laughs>